So one of the things that we need to worry about with a Drell's restaurant is obviously we're going to be uh, working with investors. It's a lot of upfront money, so we have to make sure that uh, these investors are pretty much okay with uh, what we can pull back in. So we're going to assume, say, the investors brought in uh, $200,000. So we were able to convince them to give us $200,000 of our initial capital income. And we said, you know, we're able to give you guys back about $45,000 a year. All right, well, that's again going to be across uh, five payments, uh, so five years. So we have to look at that now in this rate factor. So again, just like we did with INPER, PMV, or PMT, PV, rate. And again, it asks for our number of payments, our uh, PMT, and our present value. Now, one thing that we have to factor in is this rate right now, this rate is also known as something called our return on investment as the investor. So just a FYI there, I'm gonna just kinda, there we are. That's, an, that's something to kinda keep in the back of your head uh, when we're working with uh, this money. And the reason why is because an investor is going to look at that number and they're going to say, well, you know, that's not really a big number for me. You know, only getting about 4% uh, as my return on investment, uh, you know, I I'm not really happy with that. Maybe if you were to up it to like 105000 yeah, see, that would be, if you give me that every, once every five years, I'd be okay with that. But 4.6, not really a lot. Now the problem is with a restaurant, again, uh, it's a word of mouth kind of thing. Just because you open the restaurant doesn't mean you're gonna be immediately booming. It's, you're, you're hopefully getting people in, some of the early adopters come in and they say, I really like this, and start to get in. So one of the things we can kind of factor in is maybe instead we'll also add in, because again, we have to attract these investors. I'm gonna go ahead and say that we're gonna start working off of not only these payments, I still can only give you about uh, $45,000 a year, but I'm also gonna give you some dividends. The first year, I'm not gonna give you any. But the second year, I'm gonna add in maybe $5,000. And as you can see, I'm kind of saying on top of uh, what we've already planned out, I'll also give you an extra incremental amount each time. Uh, so suddenly, not only am I giving them $45,000, but I'm also giving them a little bit of uh, an extra kind of bonus for being an investor. So across the years, it's not only, uh, say for example, $45,000, but now we're looking at it as $70,000. So suddenly, we have to look at calculating out sort of this return on investment. So we first off start out at the same kind of how much are we dealing with on our payment. So again, we start the startup at our $200,000. Now, one of the things we are going to do is we've got these totals that we're going to be playing around with. So those are actually coming into play as well. That equals 60 equals 70. So suddenly what we're looking at is how much are we paying off of this? So right now, again, we still have the $200,000 that we're built off of, but suddenly that plus 45 knocks down our kind of saving our, our amount and we can actually kind of draw this down as well. We can see oh, by the end of it what we're actually starting to see is we're getting about $80,000. Now one of the things we can kind of do is well maybe what if we want to project how much we actually want to have. Our investors we went to them uh, we explained our pricing and they're just like you know what I want 10% back in five years. Now, 10%, that's actually really nice. A lot, lot of investors want a lot higher. So we say we want this now uh, 
return on investment. We're, we're saying we want a 10% uh, answer. We want a 10% uh, return here. Now, one of the things I can do is I can work on my present value of that. What, what are you giving me now? What would that be really worth? And this is a, something that we can help factor in. So we go NPV returns the net present value of an investment based on the discount rate in series of future payments and income. So we're basically saying, oh, well, you know, technically speaking, this is where accounting becomes fun. Technically speaking, we're not really getting $200,000. We're actually getting a little different. We're actually getting, say, for example, uh, D26. We're getting that 10% that you want. But they were also looking at it from our given rate, our C24, our C20 to C24. I'm going to be giving you this much money back every year. So in reality's sake, you're actually kind of giving me a little more, right? Yeah. So suddenly, what I can do with this uh, is I can say, take that C20, uh, that D27, and take the C. 19 that we have right here and you're really actually giving me a little bit more uh, than you were initially this is my net present value is right now what you're giving me is only about eight thousand dollars so now what we do is we want to work off of sort of our internal return on investment you're going to give me this this eight thousand dollar quote air quote and what that's going to do is that's going to factor in returns the internal based on a series of cash you're going to give me that and now from c19 to c24 what that's actually going to turn into is oh well now see we're going to do a return on investment of about uh, eleven thousand uh eleven percent you're actually going to give me roughly that what you were looking for in that desired amount here 